When people speak about autonomous driving, one main advantage often pointed out is that autonomous cars are safe. However, how safe are current self-driving algorithms? To better understand this, let's first see how humans drive. For that, let's go to a racetrack, where we can discuss how we drive through these fast curves. To better illustrate the concept, we switch to a bird view and abstract the situation a bit. We already saw that the driven line looks like the purple path, but how did the driver decide how to drive? He did this by looking ahead, deciding where to hit the apex, where to brake and where to accelerate. But to really execute this path, he needs to constantly update his decision as the predictions are never perfect. Autonomous cars have a very similar way to decide how to drive. And this is exactly where my research area is. This is me. I'm Alex Liniger and I'm a researcher at ETH in the Automatic Control Lab. I'm working on so-called motion planning algorithms. These algorithms are the part of an autonomous car which decides how to drive based on all the sensor information. The motion planning algorithms I studied are very close to human driving. Here is for example an autonomous race car developed by ETH students, which uses a motion planning algorithm I developed. You can see how the car navigates a tight race course, while on the right you can see the planned path of the car. Similar to humans, the autonomous car plans into the future and by doing so decides where to brake, accelerate and how to steer. One of the big advantages of an autonomous car is that it plans the path with an accurate mathematical model of the car, which can only be matched by expert drivers. This allows to actually drive a race car fast without years of training and can also help to avoid accidents that humans could not avoid. However, this predictive planning approach has one fundamental drawback. Imagine you're driving on a racetrack with over 300 km per hour and a sharp corner is approaching. To get around the corner, you need to slow down to 100 km per hour. Now, only the braking maneuver takes 5 to 10 seconds, depending on your car. So, if the algorithm of the autonomous car only plans for the next 2 seconds, the moment the algorithm even recognizes there is a sharp corner approaching, it can no longer slow down and will crash. This brings me directly to my research, where I develop smart algorithms for safe motion planning. The main idea is to ensure that the algorithm only plans paths which do not leave the racetrack, even in the not yet planned future. So, if we go back to our car, we know that at the current point and speed, the car gets around the track. Therefore, this point is safe. However, if the car is much further ahead, still driving with the same speed, this is not a safe point, as the car has no chance to get around the corner. Similarly, if we are at our original point and drive much faster, we will eventually leave the track and crash. To solve this issue, we can classify the whole racetrack in a safe and an unsafe region, before actually driving. For the safe region, shown in blue, we know that we can drive around the track, Whereas for the unsafe region, in red, we are sure that at some point in the future, we will leave the track and crash. For fast velocities, the safe region is limited to straight track segments. But the slower the velocities we consider, the larger the safe region gets, until the whole track is safe if we drive slow enough. Given these safe and unsafe regions, I designed an algorithm which only plans paths which stay in the safe region. Therefore, the car starts braking way before the prediction horizon sees the curve, because the algorithm already knows that otherwise the path is not safe. This classification is similar to the knowledge of a race car driver who knows where to drive fast and where to brake late to overtake someone, but still stay within the track. I tested my algorithms using miniature race cars. This allows me to test new algorithms very fast and poses additional challenges due to the very dynamic behavior of the cars. I was able to show that compared to other algorithms, the safe region-based approach results in very robust, high-performance driving, even with very short planning horizons. Currently, I'm working on how similar ideas can be used if multiple cars are driving on the same track and race wheel-to-wheel. -wheel. 
In such conditions, safety is even more critical, because the algorithm not only needs to deal with static track walls, but also with moving cars that change their driving behavior based on our own driving. Furthermore, I work on how to bring these ideas to real cars, where this technology can help to improve the safety of autonomous cars and hopefully convince people that autonomous cars are safe and also a bit of fun.